Hello. Hello. It is Aberaxis Precipice, everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Doing pretty good? Good. Good? Yeah. Good to hear. Psyched and sleepy. Psyched and sleepy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a... It's a, it's a sleep. Uh, um, we are an Expanse actual play uh, of the Expanse role-playing game actual play by Green Ronin Publishing. Uh, we're going through, we have, we're down, Donna and I, Donna was just in the chat and it was telling us about all the fun they're having promoting Catan and being you know, a super awesome person uh, and then wrote it and so I told them that I was going to, you know, make sure that when they come back to the game they don't have crew. Um, <laughs> No captain. No captain, but no captain. it's no captain, man. No parents are out, dude. Yeah. No party. Party. <laughs> Michael's. Our, party. Michael's. Party. <laughs> Michael's. No. Uh... Um, tonight we have a giveaway. Uh, well, actually, tonight we're actually we're we're playing a game for Project Hope uh, this week too. I kept I kept decided to keep the link up and keep that running. So please, uh, you can donate again tonight. Uh, there's the link right there. You can uh, go in, throw in, and you can try to get. Uh, we don't have the opens for the uh, the change of the rule tonight, but you can still donate and try to get like. Um, we should have some green running uh, bundles in there if you want to get a copy of the expanse stuff. Uh, all that kind of stuff should be in there. Uh, oh, actually, let me unlock that. We'll have that locked. I will lock that. Unlock that here during the during the in credits. Um, in addition tonight, too, we have a. Uh, Give out one of our promo copies that we made of our little data core. Oh, I made yeah. for my Cauldron Tower thing, and it has the sound the opening theme on the on a little floppy disk, along with an exclusive patch. Uh, our first like Abrax Pessimist patch. Uh, there's only there's 20 of these made, but I made a few promo copies just for extra stuff, and this is one of the promo copies, so it's a lot of fun. But someone tonight will win this. Uh, the key word tonight to win is data core. That is the word data core. One word. Uh, you type in the chat, you get entered. And our fun little dick or all, all the exhaustive metadata I put on it for no good reason. Um, and then, um, once again, Project Hope, we're playing for um, Project Hope sets up uh, health uh, services for refugees all around the world. Uh, right now, they're still getting established in Ukraine. They're currently doing donation matching uh, thing, which I'm not sure if they hit their goal with that yet, but it's, uh, it's, they were doing that. So, they're they're setting up over there and they're still they're still uh, in need of resources, help out folks wherever they can. Um, but they're a great cause. Been around since 1958, and I've been reading more about them. They're kind of cool. But but I think that is it for our kind of announcements. I'm gonna go ahead and run the opening credits, then we'll get started, everybody. Uh, but tonight's keyword is data core. All right, here we go. Opening. <laughs> all right there we are well we're gonna do what okay. all right michael's over here talking some funky stuff while we we're at that so i don't know what to say we were gonna, say. Gonna, yeah. gonna like, launch talking to your screen yeah it was the full 3d i appreciate it um all right so last we left off uh tyco station hired you uh for some extra security details went pretty well successfully 
Uh, you chased down quite a few leads, found some information of your own that was interesting, but also saved quite a few uh, refugees uh, from some human trafficking efforts. Um, you guys have another four days of this contract. After you know, you had to spend a few days taking people's uh, statements, you know, filing, filing reports, stuff like that, etc. Um, but now you've gotten some time on Tycho Station, and you figure you should use this privilege you have to your own. Uh, advantage of your interests. Um, some of you were interested in pursuing a few uh, leads uh, of personal interest for, for your friends, uh, stuff like that. So, I wanted to ask a real question, which is, what do you want to do? I would like to see if Waxor would like any help, kind of, I don't know his whole story of, like, his family, but like to do the best I can to help you. Yeah, me neither. I don't know the whole story of my family either. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the same on that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, if we got time, maybe, uh, I don't know, Zenny and, and Wyatt, we, we go shake down some uh, Beltalota uh, OPA gangs out here. Sure. Um, in addition, uh, you guys also, by the way, also all have uh, uh, a plus one with like members of Tyco Station or Ty uh, Tyco Corporation, so that they're, you're, you're a known contractor, basically, you're in one of these. So you guys have that one too. Um, the uh, one thing you're kind of picking up on Zenny here is what you know about the Tyco Corporation. Actually, give me a give me an intelligence business check or business business or current affairs. Your choice. Mm, current affairs. I got current affairs up my butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I said you your guys' personal time. <laughs> okay. That is... Uh, <laughs> 19 with a 6 on the drama die. Okay. Very nice. That's very good. But also a 6 sun point, so that there's also that. <laughs> um, if you, do you want to use sun point for this? I don't think you really need to, but uh, I'll, I'll give you a bunch of information on this, and I'll, I'll say you used a bunch of stun points for this. So... Basically, um, you kind of you've always known about the Tycho Corporation. Tycho Station is a major element of the belt. It, it, it's essentially not so much a station as it is like its own ship. It's actually a very large ship. It's basically a mobile shipyard, essentially. Um, and uh, the um, the element of that is that like the way that they managed to kind of keep the UN and the MCR away. Uh, and for messing with their affairs or trying to confiscate the place is that the Tycho Corporation seems to make consistent large donations to various members of the respective congresses of those congressional uh, bodies of those different uh, nations. The Tycho kind of buys their independence consistently. Um, so far, the additional information you get from the Zenny is that you've been interested in Waxor's past and his time in the storm pits and mm -hmm. what happened to him in the uh, Martian Gulags, as it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, you suspect that leveraging Tycho's being in a position now with Tycho Station might give you better access to both Earth and Mars. Uh -huh. uh, pol I don't say political figures, but um, just resources or knowledge or people be willing to talk a little bit more. Yep. That's so, what that's what my favor from um, security uh, personnel one dingo was going to be was asking about specifically the uh, the storm pits and then also um, the name of the ship that my brother potentially was on and if they know where in the world that might be. So I know they weren't like keeping super tabs on Inaros because they were a little everywhere, but like if they knew, you know, they've got resources here. So yeah, exactly. Um, you you do so while uh, Dingo seems to be uh, doing stuff with basically Myrtle, like they're they're off like chatting the um, upper brass type situation. You know, those in control in command. Uh, although it is, they'll suspect that it's just the Earthers talking. But well, that's another story. Um, that uh, there is. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but you do have access uh, via your comms to our favorite personal assistant, 
Tedwin. Oh. Yes, so, you guys have done, you guys, so you guys need help on Tycho Station. Tedwin's your contact. Heck yeah. Okay, so Tedwin okay. is Tedwin's uh, on there for sure. He's definitely a contact for you guys to utilize. He can kind of be put on stuff if you need him to, uh, within reason. He's not gonna like obviously or hand you money and stuff like that to you. But you guys are still on the company dime uh, for basic stuff. So. It's a it's a Ted win win situation. It's a Ted win win situation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't remember I came with that name. I think I saw it and I thought it was kind of cool. Like it was kind of a, it sounds kind of fancy, but like it also sounds kind of like almost belterish, almost like it sounds kind of weird made up almost, but it's kind of a club. It's kind of a modification of Edwin, I think is what I came up with. Mm-hmm. So. And Ted, like but Ted. smash them all together. Because all the names, they all work together. All right, so um, I heard uh, Waxer and uh, you, you guys wanted to work on Waxer's situation first. Was that the first one? I'd like to do the best I can to help him, yeah. So this is more of a, this isn't so much an investigation, like there's not really going to be people on uh, Tyco Station that know about this stuff, um, because like they're just, there's refugees or workers or people going through or using the station to be repairs, whatever it is. Um, this is more of a uh, doing research actually uh, test, so trying to like dig through access, having access to certain records and the like, which the Tyco Corporation does have additional access, stuff that you guys like on series, you would have it would take a lot of effort on series to get this kind of stuff. But Tycho seems just to have it uh, almost at hand. Uh, so, who wants to do the intelligence research test for this? All right, Zenny does. All right, so this is gonna be I advanced. would love to. This is gonna be an advanced test. Um, the way this is gonna work is each day, each one of you get one test. Um, uh, so you're gonna have four tests each total. Um, these are going to be advanced tests. That means you have to beat the number, and then whatever the drama die is, is what advances the uh, the solution. Once you once you get advanced past the solution, you get something, and you can use a series of stunts on this as well to help it up. So, uh, day one, um, does, does does anyone have researchers or do any, does anyone else want to take a stab at this? Uh, or do you guys I, don't do mind, to... I don't mind doing yeah. it unless she wants to do it. Day one, I feel like yeah, Zenny's been looking into it for me. Yeah. So you guys all, you guys all kind of sit down in these terminals and kind of start working through it and digging through it and stuff like that too. So I need everyone to make an intelligence research. Whoa. Jesus. Seventeen. Six on the drama die. Okay. Actually, double sixes, so that's six, what, some points? Yeah, it's six, uh, and six. Oh, yeah. Churn a little bit. Okay, so, so why you start digging through, and you, you come up with a little bit of information about the storm pits. The storm pits are a gulag. Essentially, they're called that because they're under a part of Mars that gets hit by, like, winds really hard, and, um, they're basically digging further into the ground. Uh, into, into like the bedrock or whatever the equivalent is on Mars. I really don't know what Martian bedrock is called, but we're called bedrock. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, you you suspect that like, based on kind of what Waxworth told you about, uh, it sounds like he was based, like like he was in mines. Like he was just, and not like trying to like pull out like minerals, just trying to like dig spaces for their expansion of like underground. Uh, a lot of the Martians have to live underground because of the radiation up top. Uh, unless you want to pay for very, very, very expensive materials. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you, you start, you, you do find the storm pits. Um, it does not have a good reputation. It is a gulag, period. It is prison camp, in fact. Very good. Uh, you advanced the solution quite a bit. Uh, let's get Waxor's uh, attempt at the research. Okay, Waxor got a powerful seven with uh, two two. I got two twos and a three on my All drama right. die. So they 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 give you a little they give you a little like you know a little fun fake computer and, and a juice box <laughs> and let you kind of, kind of poke on it and you're like I'm helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they hand you an unplugged in controller and say you're playing. Uh, no, you you kind of like this like these these research systems are very are much more advanced and like say that the standard kind of stuff you're looking at. You're used to more inventory systems. This is a much bigger like a much much deeper dig of, of data and information you have to get through to try to find it. Okay. Uh, Denny, what did you get on your research? Uh, I got math. I got um, a 15, uh, double fours, and a four on the drama dime. 
Very nice. Okay. Um, so you you hit it pretty hard actually. Like uh, uh, you you kind of start you you kind of had an idea what this place was and going through it. Um, one of the one of the things about the storm pits is they're fairly secluded compared to like the other cities on Mars. Um, and there is some there has been some news reports and rumors about like uh, we'll say uh, experimentation. On, on the prisoners. Um, it's unclear if it's voluntary or not. Like they might be trying to like volunteer in to get out of like time, get time off or whatever it is. Um, but the the MCR doesn't quite have as, um, we'll say liberal uh, notion of body autonomy that the UN does. The UN has like a firm constitutional uh, amendment about like body autonomy Mars has that, but it can be suspended. Um, where on in, on Earth, it, it cannot be suspended. That's that's a major difference. It looks like they might have like someone could have been like, hey, you know, whatever. You can experiment on me. So there, there is that possibility. Based on what you kind of know about wax, we're kind of like not knowing uh, things. Element of his past. Um, the other issue you're, you're running into is any. Can I give you this? Is your and this is gonna, actually this is gonna be the bonus points for uh, the stump points for um, Wyatt. Is you're not sure if even um, if Wax was his real name or not. Oh, um, I had a thousand percent. I I I and Zenny were like, there's, I, I I don't think that's his real name. He doesn't sound confident in it. Like <laughs> that doesn't sound like his good born Christian name. I don't believe <laughs> does it, like. <laughs> Uh, but no, like, I, I had suspicions that it might not be... With everything that he was saying about how he hasn't been up front with, like, where he's been from and all that stuff, I was like, ah, ah, I see. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> I see what identity. game you're playing. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do here well, you made is... one up for yourself. <laughs> Couldn't remember I'm your old witness for... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too many hits. Listen, do you even have a wife and kid? You, yeah, you, that's a, these that, are the things that are also well, that, going that through is, like Zenny's head too. That is one of the is major, like, one of the major like, elements in your research is that there are not like families in the storm pits. Oh yeah, you would be isolated. Like it's like it's like Siberia. Like you're you're off. Yeah, yeah. I think we discovered that. Um, it was suspected. Before, yeah. it, was, it was heavily suggested and suspected. Yeah, or questioned. All right. Um, because you guys pulled off such uh, high stealth points on both of those, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys both use the speed demon um, thing. So you did that in half the time. Uh, so okay. I'll let one of the two, either Zenny or Y, get an extra check. Your choice for the day for day one. Unless you want Wax to do it. <laughs> Is this thing even plugged in? <laughs> Here, trade me seats. You try this computer. See if it works for you. Well, I'm a big boy now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, who's gonna do it? Is it gonna be Zenny or Wyatt? Let's do the follow-up. I'll do it, I don't worry. All right, I'll give it, all right. All right, give me the research. I'm standing behind him. Looking not good at all. Nine. Nine? Okay, not gonna be good enough, this one. <laughs> so yeah, you, you kinda, you kinda hit, a, hit a wall for it. Um, but you have set up the uh, the query to like to run a little bit more and you can probably, probably find more information in the next few days. You guys uh, advance the test by 10, so it's, you have a uh, threshold. Uh, the threshold on this test, if you're curious, is a 15. So you guys have 10 out of 15 of the point. It was pretty good, pretty good day. Oh, nice. Day. You got some good awesome. stuff. You, got, you, got, you didn't quite get what you wanted to uh, about wax or something. Um, I will ask this. Do you want to submit a... Zanny, you know systems like this, and why actually you know this too. You guys both work in security. Uh, systems like this, if you were to submit like a DNA sequence, you might be able to get more information. But at the same time, like the other side might ask, like, where'd you get the DNA from? But it could it could lead to a very spe much more specific results. I'm not gonna bring it up. I'll let Zinni make the decision on that, but I'll, I'll just keep that one in my own. Um. So, question to you, John, is. Yes. Is that what I could cash my favor in for? Is to have our good our good assistant do that and it not be 
Suspicious. You want him to hide it? You want him to yeah. hide it? Okay. Right. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, you, you throw it to Tedwin, and Tedwin says, yeah, they could basically, uh, that Dingo would, would run it as, like, uh, a potential, like, just, like, found DNA sample off of, like, one of the cargo holes. You're not sure who the... It doesn't match any of the people on there, so they're kind of curious who came... Um, someone that basically, like, they could even say, like, I mean, it's like a... Someone, you know, dine and dash the station or something. I'm curious in that, but, like... No. They can make it so it's not like he's here still. You want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the next test, uh, what I'll do is any on the next test you guys do for this, uh, you'll get an extra plus. Um, uh, I'll give you guys a plus four on that. Actually, I'll also reduce the target number by five, so it'll be a much easier test. You can wax capacity. All right. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I've, been, I've been studying. I'm hitting the books, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So day one's kind of just, you guys are hanging out and like just checking the records and, and slinging it, taking it pretty easy. Um, some people on the station kind of, you know, hear about what you did and stuff like that, too. They're kind of happy about that. Um, you guys got another three days here on the station. Oh, what do you, next day, day, second day of this, uh, what kind of stuff do you guys want to get up to? Was there more, what, what was that, Waxer? Sorry. I was going to say, was there more uh, gang uh, uh, OPA factions we were looking for on the station or information? No? There was, I think there was a couple, wasn't there? Yeah. There was a couple more leads of, of them, but right now it seems like uh, a lot of them, based on the bust of Golden Bow, were, uh, they kind of backed down a little bit. Like, the the the, the murmurs went down after they got busted. Um, you can certainly try to go talk to them if you want to. They're still kind of here. Uh, but, yeah. As far as, like, trying to, like, rein in any crime, you guys kind of got the major one, and that definitely got people kind of, like... Okay. Yeah. The sheriff means business type thing, you know? Yeah. Well, well, what do you think, Wyatt? What do you think? Well, I'm kind of curious. Have you seen uh, the cap for a while? She, like, just disappeared on us. No, no, I thought she was with you, eh? No, I thought she was with you. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's probably alright. just going right. to message the captain and ask where she is. She's out, she's out with Dingo. Yeah. They're, they've been like, uh, kind of, she's like, been these the... two are, All these two are doing this song and dance. I'm just like, hey, Cap, where are you? <laughs> yeah, and she's, and she's been out with like Dingo up an admin, uh, kind of touring the facility, seeing what they have to offer. Uh, he's been kind of asking her about some stuff in the past and she's being a little cagey about it, but kind of standard kind of like procedures. And she's getting like the really nice tour of the station. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, well, XO, you look like you're the boss man now, hey? All right, what do you want to do? I don't know. We could uh, do some team bonding with McMichaels and uh, <laughs> the other one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we could, like, do, like, a pit fighting for a little while. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, good, at, I'm good at that. I'll, uh, I think that's what I used to do a lot in the storm pits. Yeah. So what, what can you tell me about your past? There's a lot that uh, I don't think I know. Well, what I remember is uh, picked up, uh, you know, on a rock hopper doing some things. We were, I think we pirated, picked up. Uh, dusters came. They took the whole crew. They kill some, but they take most of the strong ones. And they take us to a, to a, to storm pits now that we know it's called. Uh, put us to work mining, digging tunnels underground, moving rocks. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, making us, uh, fight each other for entertainment. That and, is pretty uh, entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waxer was, uh, good at, good at this. Yeah. And, um, you know, I fought to kill a lot of, uh, other sad brothers. And, uh, yeah, that's what I remember. But yeah, I do remember maybe, uh, they do something, alter something experiments on some of us and give us better time off they knew i was uh, strong and big so uh i think they maybe did something to enhance that maybe make me stronger better fighter but so why, uh, why is it that there's so much you just can't remember what, i don't know what, maybe exper may experiments on me um I don't know. from fighting maybe yeah yeah sometimes i don't always win yeah you know but uh, yeah, and then Waxa, I know, I know, I got, I talked to one officer, one uh, Martian, 
Martian officer, he uh, helped build, uh, helped my wife and the kid get off, he say. Yeah. And then uh, Waxa eventually made his way off, but, uh, and then I found myself on Ganymede. Working. Hey, Waxa, um, why do you, why do you talk, uh, in the third person sometimes? Why do you sometimes say, uh, you say Waxa and then sometimes you say me? I don't know. I think Waxa's my, you know, split. That was, uh, the one time in the gulag is a very bad time. So I, I think I remember it different, maybe when I was a different person. Or well, something, something lost, something uh, changed in this uh, this belt of Loda, and uh, come out different. I come out now that I escape. Uh, yeah, I come out to Waxa, but uh, yeah, I do. I do know I fighting under a different name then. <laughs> but I try not to think too much. <clears throat> and then uh, after that, yeah, I, I look. I looking for in information. I looking, uh, you know, information. Uh, with other OPA factions and like, like, you know, Golden Bow and all these others. And they say they help, they would help me, but they basically, they use me to shake down and kill and uh, do thievery and steal uh, aqua from, from ships and different things until I, I caught on and I, I took care of them all. So that's, that's pretty much <laughs> it. And I, I end up on Ganymede, you know, and I tried it. I don't talk too much about it and I just work, but I just, you know, I keep, I pull out like a little, like, I don't know, notes or something, wax or weird notes that I Actually catch. notes? Yeah, some notes, yeah. I love that. The rest, the rest of it I tattoo on my body. <laughs> oh, are you going to do memento action here? Yeah, 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 I get a little <laughs> memento in there, you know, uh, but uh, just uh, things I, I, I think that are important, I, I have down. That way, a uh, waxer can try to pick up. But yeah, work in the docks, is, I think I, that's where I get a lot of information because you know a lot of uh, belters work in the docks and coming from shady past like me. So, so I appreciate you helping me. I have, I have a, um, I have a one more question. Um, since you can't quite remember how things go and what parts you what parts waxer or you know you before and then you you before waxer and then you after yeah. um it's kind of like zenny doesn't zenny pauses and then like looks over towards wyatt <laughs> and like hoping that you can read her mind but then knowing that's not quite how this works and then turns back to wax and says i how are you so sure you have a wife and kid Yeah, I mean, I I know from my heart, I think, and my mind, and I remember the faces, their faces, and uh, I mean, wax. I mean, previous life, I have, a, I was with a a, a woman, a, another belter, and we we were living there. But yeah, I mean, I, it's, I see it like I see you. Okay. But you know. I believe you. But I don't know, you know, this this is true. I mean, these things, uh, everything's very foggy and I don't know what what experiments maybe they done on me then, yeah. So, but I, I feel like in, yeah, I feel like I know they're, they're out somewhere otherwise. <laughs> uh, I mean, they've been my purpose for many years. We'll, we'll do whatever we can to help you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, you call yourself, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll take a little bit of time for the DNA to see the little DNA sequence to come off and, and get run off the test. That that will take you guys won't be able to get results on that back until yeah. So you have like the next you have the second day of your kind of time on Tycho station. Do as you will. Uh what do you guys want to get up to? If there's any job source we can do or you know, yeah. well, you're on a job right now. I mean you're literally burning security. <laughs> Well, that's yeah, we're literally we're just burning company maybe, time right now. Yeah, maybe we <laughs> should just kind of maybe we should just like I mean, walk anything? around a little bit. Yeah, that's like I can say. If there's anything yeah. up, and yeah, yeah I saw there was a few other inquiries. I mean, you definitely you just saw uh, Darren still is on the station. We're gonna go talk to Darren. Um, but yeah, there's other stuff. Uh, you know, you know, I don't know about that you let that guy. You gotta let that guy uh, walk. No, I think I might let him walk. For for now. Okay. Okay. Um, 
All right, so what else do you guys want to get up on, on Tycho Station 2? And the ship's there. You guys can uh, you guys can go back to the ship. Uh, there's plenty to do. There's, like, you guys can do some hard R&R &R if you want to. You guys want to try to or bonding, um, if you want to try to, like, get some more information about what's going on out there. I know there was some questions about, like, different factions that you're what they're up to, um, some of the bars mm -hmm. there. Uh, certainly, uh, you're not really so much about securing Tycho Station right now. You're more, you're, you guys seem to have secured Tycho Station. Uh, you can certainly go off and, like, uh, try to find your own uh, investigations, like, talking to people, sitting in front of a computer, trying to run queries. About you, Zinni, you want to you got family you said on another ship out there somewhere? Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, uh, I told Captain, um... But, uh, the, you know those Anaro ships that, uh, that attacked us? Over with the... With the dock when, when he was with us. Um... My, uh... My baby brother was on one of them. Why? May I ask why? Yeah, I didn't know. Uh. Uh. Could, why? Why don't we go get? Why don't we go get drinks first? I need some for that. For that story. <laughs> no, for it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Is any? Are we? Are we carousing? Yes. Are we yes. carousing? We're using the carousing talent? Okay, cool. You took that talent. No one actually going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Yes. So, uh, yes. All right. So you guys go out. What kind of place do you want to hit? Do you want to hit like a high? I mean, there's some high-end places here. Uh, Tycho Station may not like go to bat for you on that. Uh, do you guys want to go drink in mm -hmm. private, like grab some bottles in those places? Do you want to go to like a like a hardcore Belcher bar, a dockside bar? Do you want to go to like some place that's like more of a dance club? I mean, there's all kinds of stuff here. Betting, there's like some uh, some like off station betting, you know? Grab a stuff. bottle, go sit by the recyclers. See you there. Not gonna yeah, lie, that sounds yeah, great. We got, I'll, I'll grab, I'll, listen, I'll grab a bottle for each of us. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll, I'll buy it. If the, so you, the you managed to have a private conversation, right? So, we go, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you pull some, you pull some bottles of gin. Get some good stuff here. Uh, it's pretty readily accessible. Yes. Uh, the company pays for it. Um, and uh, you go and post stuff out in one of the uh, kind of common areas, like they're like big hallways that kind of go around the station. And uh, there's some recyclers. This is not like, do you want to go near like an industrial recycler or one of more of like the common ones around there? Like basically it's like, do you want to be at like, like where you can see the trash cans like at the mall or do you want to go where the dumpsters are? Oh, I'm not, I mean, not that secluded. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure, okay, like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, go, like, no. like, 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 some... like, dumpsters, like, yeah, where, like, the industrial rats. scale stuff goes into the recycler, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very different scale, it's a scalable technology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to go just kind of, okay, so you guys are kind of hanging out in, like, the, the open park area. Um, there's not really too much of like, there's a few plants here and there being grown in the full spectrum light in the middle, like, but it's not like Siri Station where there's actually big walkways. It's more of like an island about this big, like, like kind of like a planter in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. You guys take some kind of seats and hang out there, uh, post up and kind of people watch. And you can see there's people from all over the place. Uh, you know, you see people from Martians, Earthers. Uh, it's a lot more even of a mix here than it is on Ceres. Um, where series you would see maybe like, you know, a 20 to one ratio of belters to innards. Here it's more of like, I don't want to say necessarily a third each, but it's the number of belters here is still outnumbers everyone, but it's not like huge. Not, not astronomically, like, yeah, not, yeah. Yeah, not like a, yeah. So, um, but yeah, you guys are kind of hanging out there and watching people and, and people coming by having a good time. Uh, you see some uh, people like uh, the refugees you kind of recognize, you get kind of the eye for it if you spot who's a refugee. Um, mm -hmm. You can tell that like they've been kind of confined to either like living, uh, if they're lucky, they're living like like by themselves. If they're a family, they might be in a um, converted uh, like cargo container type situation. Um, but Tycho Station's definitely made some efforts for them. Uh, but the goal has been to try to abate the number of refugees on the station um, because it's the station's not meant to like hold all these people. Because there's, there's right. still, I think, like 15,000 people on Tycho Station. They're they're pushing the numbers. They're closer to 18 to 20,000 right now. They're pushing the recyclers pretty hard. 
But um, I mean, yeah. So you guys are kind of hang out drinking. Um, that's uh, do you guys want to hit? Who wants it? Who's uh, are anyone trying to like fake that they're drinking, or everyone just want to drink? I'm drinking. Oh, I'm I'm no, drinking. drinking. Okay. I am like <laughs> right, with well, a capital D. Let's <laughs> open it up. This is the this is the this is gonna be a race to the bottom type test. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you roll, uh, you get a roll of Constitution Tolerance, and tell me what you get on the drama die. Then he, you get to add one to your drama die results on the on this test. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. And I mean, what I, what I mean is like whenever you when you when you have a drama die result of carousing, you basically add one to the drama die result. So you cool. All right, so Waxer, what'd you get? I got a, a twelve and a six on the drama die. Okay. Uh, Wyatt, what'd you get? Seven with the two on the drama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you wasted. Already drunk. Wyatt, yeah. Wyatt's like. Wyatt's hey, listen. Like, about this, gonna drink you under the table when you up in space here. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hold your hair as you buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get another tattoo, ain't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a tattoo of the side of your head. You shaved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can feel the the gin particles. They must they must have be extra effective on your Martian physique. Uh, <laughs> they, they just they just go they just move on in and take take home up in your brain. Uh, Danny, what'd you get? 18 with a seven on the drama die. Technically. Ooh, yeah, no, that, that's what it is. Um, so. Yeah, so Zenny and Wax are the two of you. Oh, and like, also double sixes if it matters. I have six stun points. Arguably, it does not actually. Either Damn it. Yeah, you can't. You're not supposed <laughs> to, be able to generate stun points on passive, so you can't like you can't generate stun points for resisting poison. <laughs> <laughs> like, watch okay. Me a, watch, watch my flourish as I resist this poison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do a pirouette as I re, as I resist the poison. Um, but why? Like, yeah, why it's you, you, it goes it goes to your dome pretty hard. You're, Pretty hard here. Um, you can feel a little bit of, of the intoxication coming over you a little bit. You're about a third of the way down with the bottle. The two Belgians seem kind of like, whoa! I didn't think he, I didn't think the EXO would take it that hard. Um, so yeah. Um, what do you guys want to talk about? Or do you want to look at someone and try to follow someone around, check out what's going on? I'm making stories about uh, the first people I come by. What do you think they're from? You know that kind of game. And you see a, <laughs> you see like a, you see uh, two parents with a kid, maybe 13 years old. Um, they're, they're, you're pretty sure are not refugees. Uh, they are, uh, both, they're all earthers and, uh, but they seem to be kind of, I don't say out of place, but it's weird to see, you don't see a lot of families out here that aren't like refugees essentially. Hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look at, look at the, them earthers, huh? Oh, that, that brings a warmth to my heart. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah. You okay, Wyatt? You're looking a little, uh... You're a little, uh... I'm just gonna, like, like, very lightly, like, tap, tap, like, like, give him a little, like, like, light touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, all right. You need more uh, aqua, brother. <laughs> I don't know what you guys gave me, but this is so strong. We got, I got three of the same thing. I, uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the, the spin gravity is not, it, it's, it's, it's there, but it isn't as, like, heavy as, like, Siri. So, yeah, if you, if it was on Siri, you probably would have tilted oh, yeah. over, but you're holding, you're holding down here. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're kind of training, you know, you, you remember, you know, you may not like your time in the Martian uh, Navy, but you do remember, like, don't let, do you remember, like, don't let the Belchers see your weakness, and this is one of those times where you don't want the Belchers to see your weakness. <laughs> this is failing miserably. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm a good coach, put me in. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so you, but yeah, Wyatt, so, so Waxer points out this, like, Earther setup, and you see these two people, they're, they're not, like, dressed to the, the gills, like, they're not, like, dressed up, like, corporate. But they're they are well taken care of. They're clean. Um, they have a child that's kind of enjoying things, looking at things as they're going through. And you guys are probably the kids' first time off world. Um, they seem, and but it's also weird to look at them because like you know that like their people, the the UN has been at war recently, but it's it's out on you know Jupiter and Saturn. That's out that's way the hell out there. So it's I don't know. How do you guys have any thoughts on that? Maybe there. Really, dude confuses Wyatt in a way it's like how can this family be happy whenever all the shit they've done to Belters, the Martians they've, you know, everybody wants to fight everybody you know, Belters always be suffering and uh, you know a lot of Earthers 
they are. They're, they're, they're the ones putting the foot on the neck. <clears throat> but, uh... I think I've only really met one Earther I like. Ah, uh, what about the capped? That's the Cap- only one I like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. This is what uh, some Beltas want. We want that family unit uh, independence, you know? Uh, do good in our life. Uh, have have our own independence and uh, make our own things and off the teat of, uh, you know? Ugh. Some people take it too far, though. Yeah. Uh, and they'll take, like, a... a Zeddy's gonna take a long a long drink and, like, look at this, this family. And... Uh, I, I, I never, I never, I never really cared where people were from. You know, you yeah. could be, you could be from, you could be from Earth, you could be from Mines, you could be from the Belt. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, we're just trying to survive out here in space. You know, in one way or another, we all got our own problems. We all got our own shit. Yeah, but uh, my parents didn't see it that way. They, they, they were, they were of an opinion. That was shared by some. That uh, Belters were uh, were owed for all the things that had been taken from them over the, over the, you know, years and years and years and years. So they got they got fed fed the the good words, those uh, those those wonderful, powerful words of. Rise up and take what's takes what's ours, and my brother believed them. And uh, they, the ones who uh, put him into extremist uh, Belta faction ideology, yeah. Uh, I don't think they helped keep him yeah. from that. Uh, I tried to stop him. I tried to talk sense into him, but he he says he's doing doing good for the belt <laughs> and yeah. uh, I don't know I think he's doing he's doing good for someone who's selfish someone who wants something just for themselves and is willing to put other belters in harm's way to get their freedom or independence or whatever it's not it's not the way to do it you know yeah you're right I mean growing up I heard very similar and we know similar people who always uh Hear that part of, lose you lose friends to that part of the uh, OPA faction, yeah, gangs. It's bad. But uh, you trying to save your brother now? What you know? What you, you have any contact with him? Yeah. I I got one communication out to him while we were out on the uh, whatever the name of that ship was. Oh, Dingo. Oh, that- but Cleptus? Were you going the Cleptus! To, were you, Thank you. To, were you guys to, to salvage the Cleptus, yeah. Yeah. I got one out, and that's how I knew he was there. But, uh, I think, uh, either he doesn't want to talk to me or he can't. So. Yeah, because you're going to talk sense into him. Don't you worry. Yeah? I've been trying for years to do that. I just want to make it. I just. At this point, I just want to, I just want to steal him from, <laughs> from Dionaros and j- j- put him in a, put him in a closet somewhere until he gets, he grows some sense. Yeah. Hey, Waxel, knock some sense into him for you. Well, I was going to say, we just said Waxel, knock some sense into him. Uh, why, no, give me you. a, why, you, you kind of, you, you're hearing this out, like, I mean, you feel bad, you know, you, you feel how you feel about it, but like, you're pretty sure that the reason why she hasn't heard from him is that like, if Dionaros is operating this like, Pirate fleet or whatever it is, and, and her brother's like on a ship. They're not going to be communicating out. They're not going to be letting people know where they are. Um, anytime you send out uh, any kind of message, you telling someone where you are. So he's probably like on radio silence or communicate or something like that. No, it's it's probably that he's, he's just. They're not going to give up their position just to. For one kid, I guess you could say. We'll run into him one of these days, and we'll have Waxer knock some sense into him. Yeah. I just don't want, I just don't want, um, you know, the guns on the ship to run into him first, you know? That's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm glad you told us now, yeah. 
could always set guns to stun instead of destroy. But that's not the way PDCs work. They do, they do now. <laughs> they do now. <laughs> <laughs> PDCs to stun. I'll, I'll be sure they're really, really drunk. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they're they're right. just so shocked at the power of our guns that the people are stunned. So yeah, might, uh, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to, to you know, to set Teflon coated tungsten rounds. Yeah. That fire, you know, 300 just a second. In front of them. Yeah, it just like stops. Just it just stops their heart a little bit so they pass out. Um, everybody takes another drink. Uh, you, oh, drink, yeah. you, you drink, you guys kind of drink to Zenny's brother, the family, whatever, what those kind of things. So everybody make another tolerance test. Yeah, I want to see a picture of my brother. Much better. Oh, I, have, I probably definitely have pictures of him. I got a 17 with a 6 on the drama. Very oh, nice. Yes. Starting to actually <laughs> pick it up. Zenny. Nine oh. with a five on the drama, though. Nine, but it's not gonna cut it. <laughs> well, drinking heavily, telling the story. And then wax yeah. what you got. Well, In I my got... feels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thirteen with a two on the drama die. Okay, all right. You guys all start feeling a little bit harder. Getting the, getting the. Oh, it would be six, by the way. I forgot to get the plus one because my. Well, it only matters if you succeed. <laughs> well. <laughs> Technicality. Um, but uh, yeah, you um. You guys kind of like, you know, you take some more sips and it, it, it's hitting you the dome a little bit. Why you're holding your own now, you're starting to get a feel for the, the gin. Um, the, uh, the conversation, uh, kind of, I don't know, one of the, one of the top, there's some topics of conversation here you guys might want to talk about. What, um, then you, you kind of, you, you have your brother and you kind of drink your brother, it feels kind of good. Like, have your buddies, friends here, be like, I want to back you, we'll, we'll make sure you find them. But you also it's know. weird too. It's weird for Zenny because I think this is the most open she's been to literally anyone ever. Besides like the captain for that brief moment yeah. of like telling the captain and then telling these <laughs> these two these schlubs. schlubs. Schlubs in space. <laughs> Tune in next week for the new episode of Schlubs in Space. <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, it's um, kind of like it's it's weird. It's like catching her off guard of like her. So, Honesty does not become me. <laughs> it it, it kind of comes up, and you, you know that like Myrtle has mentioned it, and so is why they had a crewmate. There was like another pilot they lost. Uh, do you want to say anything about that, Wyatt? And then do you want to say anything about your uh, encounter with Darren? Yeah. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, and real quick, I will. The other, the other prompt too is as you guys are kind of people watching. Yeah, you see some other. Um, uh, you see like a group of like belters coming through. Uh, they're hanging out with like lo looks to be like a Martian. You're pretty sure. And you're you're not entirely sure. You suspect, though, based on what you're looking at, is that like this like Martians got some money, and the Belgians are kind of hanging around them, just hoping to like you know kind of like not rob them or anything, but like to get drinks from them, hang out, be his friend for the night. To like you know they're not and they're not like they're they're not prostitutes or anything like that. It's more of just like they're trying to hang around him to be his buddy for the night, and like he might the yeah like the, get free the, the drinks would be on him or whatever. Is, yeah, he's got some you know. They, and there's that kind of common. Thing where you know Belgians do stereotype the inner thing they're all rich yeah they haven't yeah. met me yet <laughs> all right. I'll, but I will uh I'll start I'll open up about the whole, who Jackrabbit was who this Darren guy is why don't you tell me because I would love to know <laughs> all right kind of in the same boat a little bit we had a family member from the ship she fell into, you know, listening to this and the wrong people. Decided to leave us one day. Really don't know where she's at at this point. She was a, she was definitely family. Probably between her and Onyx before he was uh, taken from us too. Probably the only two belters that we ever got close to. I ever got close to. Definitely not Myrtle. She's got, you know, her wife and yeah, I did like to really know why she decided to cut ties with us to go fight with the OPA. I mean, Waxer, you kind of have an insight to that. I mean, you were there. You kind of saw what was going down. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, it was a heavy time, yeah? It definitely yeah. was. It wasn't easy on her losing Onyx. Yeah, I hear about him. I see. I see a little bit of uh, things on the uh, the ship still. 
And I seen, oh uh, yeah, I seen his uh, vid his video. He was a hero, yeah, yeah, one-handed hero, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good guy. Made a hell oh, yeah. of a burrito too. Very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was say. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, just keep going just keep going mike let's um, go <laughs> but yeah like you know it, it, it all you guys kind of contextualize it all that happens on Gan happened on ganymede and mm -hmm. how bad it was on ganymede and you heard stories and you saw the refugees coming in you were kind of dealing with them a little bit here and there mm -hmm. um seeing it from afar is one thing to see it up close you can imagine that changing someone for sure do you do you think she betrayed you in any way? You know? Just no. like, like that? I don't think she did. I think she did what she thought was right. Even if it's wrong. She thought she was doing what she, you know, she needed to do to help her people or herself. But she wasn't helping you? Or yours? It's alright. Is it? I mean, it is what I mean is what it is. There's not much we can do about it. We just move on and... You said that you were family, the though. Story. Hmm? So you said that you were family, though. Yeah. Like, it's that, is it that easy just to walk away? I guess under the right circumstances, anything's easy to walk away from. So we gotta, we gotta get two of your family members out of uh, extreme OPA. Yeah? I don't think Jackrabbit's ever coming back. Just to know she's okay would be nice, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got a you got a favor with the with the big boss man here. You can see if she's okay, maybe. I mean, you yeah, can say who you who. Yeah. Oh, you got you the who to your who all up in there. Maybe Tedwin's got some. Yeah, some... I, mean, I mean, Tedwin can tell you where Darren is. Like that was the thing, and and, and Dingo was like. Completely ready to like say if you want to, if you want me to throw you in a dark room and I will like it's not a problem. It's not Shit his happens. fault though. She made her decision when she's ready to talk. Every time we go out, we come back alive, or I do personally. I send a message, just never heard anything back. When she's ready to talk, she'll talk. You you also could call in your favor to like ask Edwin or Dingo in the mall to like try to like. Give you better yeah, information like on it because they do have access to stuff like that. Yeah, like where she might be. I'll do that. I'll send Ted, Mr. Ted. And I'll Ed, start slurring my, you know, Ed I'm drunk. to the win. What you want to do, man? <laughs> <laughs> you up? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hoping it's like super late too. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I'll see if he can uh, just find out okay. if she's alive. Yeah, he gets the request and he puts it in. He'll say, I'll queue it up and I'll, I'll see what we can do with the, the access we have here. The Tyco station definitely has these tabs on, like, everyone, basically, as best they can. So they'll, 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 they'll run some numbers and see what happens. Okay. Um, Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> give me drink number three. I'll assess number three. <laughs> got double sixes again. Wow. 19. Was one of the six of the drama die? Yeah. Back, sir. I got... Oh, yeah. I got 15, 6 on the drama. Very nice. And Zenny? <laughs> uh, uh oh. 7! Okay. With a 1 on that drama wow. die. So they, like, <laughs> Zenny belt are like, wasted. Yeah, you guys... <laughs> You guys like thought like Zenny's talked a big game. You guys have drank Zenny before, but the, this gin. Oh, there, I right? have had. I've I have I have drunk you both yes. under the table Oops. on our first meeting. <laughs> you lost the home. You lost home team advantage. Home home uh home stadium it's advantage. It's because here. I got vulnerable, and that was what did me in. So yeah, Zenny basically like begins like kind of like passing out a little bit here. You're still kind of you can hear them talking, but you're kind of like oh geez, that hit me hard harder than I thought. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. you guys are standing. Yeah, there's there. definitely a lot of like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be sick. <laughs> um, you you guys do know, and you guys are hanging out, and there's like now like a more people are kind of coming out. It seems like there's a shift change coming up. You see people coming in, coming out of the different like stations. Uh, some people are coming in here to go home. 
Other people are coming out to leave the state, to leave to go to the, their workstations. Other people are here coming here to like get food and all that kind of stuff. So you can kind of see like the big shift change, which is when the traffic of the of Tycho Station. I mean, you, and any of you that like live on stations, this is common. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. basically. Um. So it's just kind of the uh, the cycle of things, circle of life on stations. So very nice. And you see all the random faces, and it's a good combination of people. There's some technicians, there's, there's dock workers, all kinds. I just start like saluting them as they go into work or going or home. Like, I was just drunk sitting. Yeah. <laughs> some people they're kind of all looking at you like, okay, whatever. Uh, some people hey. give you a nod here and there. They all kind of pass by, do their thing. They go on to their days. Do you know all these people? Oh, uh, no, you know, a lot of time, you know, when you work in other shifts, you never see anybody. You, you never see this shift of people. So it's like a whole new bunch of people. I just... Yeah, we just waving it, at everybody. It's, it's okay. literally like three thousand people coming out of their their domiciles, move, and then three thousand people coming <laughs> into this area, and then three thousand people. It's rush like, hour. Leaving. Yeah, it, it's literally yeah. rush hour. It's like the whole shift of the the station. <laughs> uh, Zenny's just kind of like partially squinting at this point, <laughs> and it's just like, why did it get so loud? <laughs> oh, she's gonna boff, push her towards the recycler. I don't listen. I get. I don't. It's. I don't. I don't barf when I get drunk. I just will fall over and I won't I won't stand back up again. If you get yeah. much drunker, we're gonna have to call Ted one to get you home. <laughs> Teddy. Who's Teddy? Ted Wynn, he's the he's the know it all on the station. Yeah, he's he's, he's I think he's a robot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like he's like yeah. You met him. I mean, you've seen him before. You've seen him in person. I know. Yeah, but he's oh, like, I know. Robot. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> he's got a voice in the back. Yeah. Um, we sh we should definitely look for your brother uh, next time. We'll uh, we run into Naros. Yeah, we will uh, somehow get the trust and get on the ship and look for your brother. That's my idea, my drunk idea. I fully support it as EXO. We pretend we extremists. Yeah, and we join in Naros. I'm just like spouting. I think <laughs> I think I think Zenny like uh, like with a fist like pounds next to wherever she's sitting and says i'm not that's nope that's where i draw i draw the i no no mm -mm. Well, we're gonna i'm save not them. i'm not gonna pose as fucking extremists because yes. i don't want to be that i never wanted to be that i don't want that for anyone so we why would i visit pose? as a mormon yeah one would well, say that's almost is. half as bad, but you know, <laughs> it's... It is a different type of extremism. Um, why, but that, that was kind of the thing about you, like you, Wyatt, though, is that you're the outsider here. I mean, you were told in when you were in the military and back on Palace when you were working for Anisect that, like, uh, I mean, Dawes is an extremist. Fred Johnson is an extremist. Anything OPA was extreme. Um... So you're definitely in a different position now. I mean, you've you've worked with both of those men. Uh, you've met them. You've stolen their alcohol at times. Actually, both of them now. Uh, but, um, uh, how do you kind of think about, like, do you have any thoughts on that now? Like, maybe to express and putting things in perspective? I think everybody's an extremist to the opposed. Just because they don't agree with you makes you an extremist in some way, shape, or form. We're all just out here to do what we do and stay alive. Yeah, we're living in extreme conditions, yeah. Yeah. I've been you shot make... so many times, I got more holes than I got tattoos in my body. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> oh, your... yeah. I never <laughs> I seen just lift up my shirt, and there's like bull holes everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah you can see. Wax... Yeah, you can see where... his scars, too. Yeah, you can see a waxer has got some scars from being like cut or stabbed or beaten pretty hard. Uh, Wyatt's got a few bull holes in them here, here and there. That's uh, a lot. You also see Wyatt's tattoo. It's rough. I don't know. Do, do, uh, do you know about Wyatt's big tattoo? Nope. Okay, so Wyatt has a, no. has a, has a big tattoo on his arm that mm -hmm. says it's it's an outline of a ship. You, you recognize the ship from all the news feeds. It's the Donager, right? The, mm. the Martian ship that got blown up years back. And, and mm -hmm. underneath it in script, in like Martian script, it says forever. Hmm. Uh, uh, kind yeah. of a, it's almost kind of like, it's a little bit of a, like a, um, how do I put this? It's kind of like a nationalist tattoo, almost. It's like it's like a Martian nationalist type tattoo, like a, lot of, a very Martian pride tattoo. Like 
Like you expect him to have like like a Donager air freshener hanging from the window of the Sinclair or something, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's up there on the rear view mirror. Yeah. 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 I should really <laughs> probably get this changed to the you know some. Yeah, maybe it's a Beltaloda forever. <laughs> what? <laughs> why why you you're Martian? Why are you so against Martians? Yeah, I know that's a too. that's an important thing to know. They're a bunch of assholes. Every well, time okay, we go there, you're, we you're currently shot. sitting next to two assholes, though. So be more specific. <laughs> yeah. They make fight you wars that we don't need to fight. <laughs> we hurt people that don't need to be hurt. And then when you go visit your home, you got people want to hurt you while you're there. You got no family on that. Those Not anymore. No? Not anymore. I'm the end of the line. Once I'm gone, there's no more Thompsons. Oh, ah, that Tom, line. Tom, Thompsons, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't even know your last. you had a last name. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So you, you, you're born into the army? You, you're born into the Martian army? Is that it? Followed in father's footsteps, and it's been yeah. the way since the beginning. So you're born on Mars. You've never been down the well to Earth, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, you have? Earth, but it's been... It hasn't been that terribly long ago. That was the only time. Yeah, I don't I know. Really I really enjoy Earth or Mars anymore. I kind of just like being out here, just floating around. Hey, there's so many new planets, huh? That's right. Or other planets. For sure. Yeah, you you like a wax. Uh, we just keep moving around, moving around, moving around. Like a rock. Yeah, definitely rock got that nomad jumper. lifestyle. Yeah. Guys, wax, did, oh, you, did you ever did you ever say where you were from? Like, the 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 before waxer you. Oh me, oh, where I from? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Waxer, we know Wax is from the, yeah, from the, you know, the storm pits. We know that. Uh, but where are you uh, from? Born on a ship, born on a, on a, like a little tea kettle ship. Don't remember much. Uh, that, and then I just remember, you know, working young and uh, working with a crew that was my family. A lot of them, I don't know what happened to them. Um, that's pretty much it. Waxa has, I have no home. Yeah, just born in a tea kettle in space. No roots. Oh. Floating, floating like a debris from the rings of Saturn. Yeah. That's real sad. You two are so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Life's pretty good other than all that. I mean, but, but that's hey, part hey. of you, though. That's like that's a big that's a big part of you. That's, that's where someone's from is a is it's a it's a big thing. Well, the way I see it is like that's why we're out in the the belt. You you're finding a new place where you come from. You find a new family that you you reborn every time. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I, I how I see it. I was had a family on Ganymede. Uh, had a life on Ganymede. I make a new life, new roots. New family with uh, this crew. So uh, wax, uh, I never get, never get too sad. Eh? You got the good life now. Yeah, and I hold up the bottle, <laughs> sitting next to this recycler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys kind of yeah. out on a on a note there, kind of bonding up. You guys all uh, we'll let you guys establish that as, a, as a bond establishment. Uh, you're definitely drinking on the job, though. So, um, like, I, like I told, <laughs> they paid for it, so it's fine. Really pay for it. Like I told Dingo, it's not my first time. <laughs> um, well, I got the union to protect me. <laughs> um, you guys kind of manage back to your uh, respective quarters. Either stay, you're staying at a hotel here on Tycho, or back on the ship. Very weird. Um, feeling good that you bonded with some people. Uh, day three rolls around. Uh, Danny, you get a ping back with the, uh, the some results for Waxer's little DNA sample. Mm -hmm. Give me a research test. Will be your test for the day for day three. Beep, 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 beep. Sing a song. 
I just couldn't find my dice. So they were under my stuff. That's a die that's in a billion percent. Okay. Uh, that is a 13, yeah. but... You gonna push something? I am. Um, because I have... A 1, so that I can push to... If I push that to a... How much would it be to push it to a 6? Six? 6. Would it be 6? I'm not the drama die that's full. No, it's, it's not. It's a regular one. So that is going to make it then... Uh, Oh no, the math is harder 18. now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, so, yeah. that is correct with the right. five on the drama. Five on the drama. Okay, cool. That'll succeed without issue. So you go through and you you get these records uh, with wow, try to pull Waxer's records, uh, although they're not under the name Waxer. You pull some DNA matching. You get this file back. Looks pretty exhaustive, um, and with a note from Tedwin, basically telling you that this is like classified information. Do not. Do not get this from Tycho Station. If you tell anyone you got this through Tycho Station Connections, they will deny it. Uh, and don't get caught by the MCRN with this. Is it on Tycho paper? Just kidding. They <laughs> got like a header. It's all, it's all the header, yeah. yeah. We're just printing it off here. Ted wouldn't go back to business. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find anything but the, but the stuff with the header on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's all branded and everything. Serial numbers. Yeah. No, it, it's, yeah, you've got... Um, uh, from the from, from the desk of Fred Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Verified. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but you get these. You get this like this like data file uh, through, of, like a classified uh, type stuff from. Labeled. Uh, it has a project label on it. I'm gonna give it a name real quick, but I'll start telling you about it while I. Um, okay. Um. So yeah, you kind of like go through it and you get this like, um, this, this data file and it, it, it opens up into like basically what looks like a series of actually lab notes, experimentation, stuff like that. Pretty far, uh, pretty high up there. Uh, this is going to require you to make sense of, um, I don't think you have any science skills, like besides technology. I don't think you have like science biology. So just do an intelligence check. On... But if you have medicine, medicine might help you on this one a little bit. No. Yeah, the only thing I have would be research or investigation. Or All like sixes. Let's hope. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Uh. It's a 12. 12, okay. Um, I mean, you're looking through it and it's pretty technical. There's a lot of data data in here, like raw data. Um, you have, you have to sift through. Uh, it's like, you might have to go sit down with like someone who's like a doctor or something like that to go through this stuff. But you kind of get like a few pieces of information regarding it and kind of to understand a little bit of it. Um, but it definitely is, you do see some photos in it of like the test subject, and it is definitely Waxer, but he looks a lot different. Mm -hmm. um, he's not as big, uh, he's not as like uh, like buff. Um, you know, he looks a little bit younger, not as scarred up, uh, doesn't have his, all his tattoos, but it's, you're pretty sure it's him. Uh, they give him a number. Um, I am not a number. I'm just kidding. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. <laughs> and my blood <laughs> is my own. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, you, you, you come up with this thing called, uh, it's called Project Nephilim. And this goes back about, uh, the notes are from about maybe like uh, 12 years ago. They're from, they're from a while back. Well before uh, protomolecule stuff came out here, happened a lot of stuff. Way back. Um, but looking at it, you do kind of get like some psychological profiles like that. And it talks about just this like gangbanger belter, like, you know, being antisocial, being a jerk, getting in trouble, um, how he tried to like, you know, basically one day stole from like some Martian military people on a station. I mean, just really petty shit. Ultimately nothing like, he wasn't like a killer, but how it, it ended up him in, this, in a gulag. And then he was offered a way out, which is basically certain experimentation. 
Um, does it give a name or anything? Uh, it's numbered. There, you suspect there's a way to match that through like some sort of master file, but it looks like the record only you'd have to go find that like that master file that would have all the stuff in it, which would be a separate document that would uh, usually they kind of try to like all scrub the data so like you can't find out who's like that too. But you're pretty sure it's waxer based on the photos you're seeing. Right. I'm just seeing if there's like an, another like. No, he has. Name. Yeah, he is a he has a number. Okay. Oh, I'll give you a number. Number is. Oh yeah. OPA super soldier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his number his number is uh thirteen thirty three. Ooh, all right. I like. Project Project Nephilim number thirteen thirty three. One thousand thirty. Ah, okay. <laughs> Wax or smash. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So, and you're going, but yeah, it looks like some sort of experimentation systems. Uh, there's definitely, you're guessing some sort of physical experimentation. Mental stuff like that, a lot, quite a bit going on. But it's a lot to unpack and you would probably need to, you need scientists to help understand it all. Does that, does that make sense? Is that fair? Yeah, thank goodness I have one in my contacts. The doc. Which one? God. Well, okay, he's more... Valentine? Yeah, he's the more Valentine tech engineer. doc, though. He, this, is yeah. not his, this is not his field of... Dang it, why do you have to be a doctor, though? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fooled me with that doctor part. Is there yeah. a doctor here? Yes, I'm a doctor of theater. Yeah. It's not going to help right now, bud. Uh, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so, but you definitely have this data file. Uh, it's a lot to go through, Zang. It would take you like almost weeks to go through this thing. Like, it, it's deep in depth. Um... But it, it is him. Uh, do you want to reveal this to anybody, or do you want to wait till you go through it? Um, but it is one of those things you probably want to keep on the down low because if the Martians get with it, you have you know classified files on them. They can. Um. I'll. Uh, I'll keep it to myself for now. I'll let the others know that it came back but that it's kind of all science talk so i need to try to find someone who can make more sense of it um mcmichaels i bet he would know he's pretty smart don't show mcmichaels my file that's all that i ask <laughs> never so no one, I'll never i'm not even gonna it. show you your file right now oh, that's a good idea <laughs> yeah it might crash. Listen, I know. I, listen, I know you got the loosest lips anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the book about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So you do manage to pull the fall on wax or, uh, and then it's something to pour over, uh, probably in private, uh, or try to find a con, uh, something to consult with about it here. Uh, Tiger's yeah. is not the. You could probably find someone at Tiger Station that could do it, but. Also, you might make sure you can trust them ahead of time. Um, all right, so Waxhorn and Wyatt, what are you guys going to do? You still, am I still drunk? No, I mean, you, you I think guys, so it's you, the next day, right? Oh, yeah, this is, after, this is the day after you guys drank. So, like, Zenny okay. like, went and got the research. You know, she got the, the ding. They had to come pick up her interlibrary loan. I think if it's all right with you guys, I'd like to just go practice my shooting. It's been a okay. while. Yeah. yeah you're gonna go. Oh. Their shooting range is on Tycho Station. If you want to go, go instead, of, instead yeah. of doing it like the, the, Mc, <laughs> the McMichael's way. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah, you go out you, you go out and hang out shooting and everything like that, too. Um, get some iron in. Uh, they, they'll actually let you fire full rounds here, too, if you want to. They have like a whole backstop for it. So just fire the full yeah. stuff you can. Definitely. Yeah. All right, yeah, you go out, you, you go out shooting a little bit. Feels good to kind of get some, uh, throw some heat around. Uh, what about you, Wax? What do you want to do? I mean, I guess I would just uh, just check on the ship, check the you know the the docks and the mechs, and just make sure the equipment, make sure everything's good and sealed. The suits are good, and yeah, the, the, Michaels isn't fucking around. No, uh, he's he's went around, you know him and and Drax kind of went around and did their thing, and, and so did the other members of the crew. Um, oh, I'm glad they're getting along now. Yeah, the best friends. I see, yeah, I see near them. death will do that for you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Jay and uh, Yuri are both. Uh, the double J's, uh, they they all went out and you know they've been kind of having a good time on Tycho Station. Uh, they're they're spending their own money because they're not on the contract, but uh, Myrtle's kind of making sure they can 
Yeah, I definitely want to triple check everything, make sure stuff safe. And they're they're also like you know kind of cutting back on it and getting ready to hit the ship up once once the contract's over. Uh, and Myrtle's very clear about leaving when the contract's up because like dock fees on Tycho Station are horrendously expensive. Usually, you're bringing a ship here so it gets fixed. It's not just to hang around. Mm-hmm. Let's James Holt, but we won't talk about him. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but uh, Jay and Yuri kind of talk about like the, you, kinda, you might hang out with them a little bit, Waxer, and they're talking about like the food eating here is kind of cool and like they have access to a lot more Earth stuff, which is kind of neat. Uh, some of the flavors are a little more bold. Uh, talk some food with you and everything, and just kind of hang out. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give me. Uh, I don't. Give me like a. Give me some sort of communication test or. For, uh, from you, Boxer. Let's see you boss the crew. Okay. I got a, no, evaluations for other things. Evaluations yeah. like how much something's worth. Right. So if, you want, okay. if you want to find out, how, if you want to tell them how much you think their labor's worth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should unionize. You're hey, getting paid too cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Communication. All right. Yo, uh, Yuri, it's time for your evaluation. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got a uh, 13 with a 2 on the drum. Okay. Yeah, you hang out with them a little bit, and you, you know, you guys kind of have some food to hang out and feel kind of nice about it. And they talk about, you know, it's a lot. Of ne- a lot of them never thought they would one like survive Ganymede, but then also like getting back to Taika was kind of cool, seeing like a higher end place and heard about what you guys did. So it's a good bonding experience. You bond the crew a little bit more. Yeah, I want to do that because that way I can help kind of control some more of the dynamics uh, if EXO has problems. Yeah. So the, right now, like basically the core crew has a plus one relationship, but uh, okay. Waxor, you have a plus one with the extended crew. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you're down there in there singing your little, you know, mm-hmm. you know migrant songs, whatever it is you guys do in space. Yeah, arm <laughs> wrestling <laughs> everybody. Yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah you, guys, you guys have a handshake now and everything. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Last day comes up, Myrtle's telling you guys, make sure you get the ship ready, uh, do what you're gonna do, say goodbyes, whatever you need to get done, um, and have it settled. What do you guys wanna do? Anything you guys want to do before we, you know? Yeah, any more loose ends? Do we need to get, uh, we got supplies, we got everything ready to go, any more? It's good, yeah. The um, Drax comes over and he's got the um, the survey. He's like, yeah, I did, you know, a type of station here, guys. Someone, we, we, had, we fixed the ship, took any problems we had on it. We cleared that. We went and re-lubed and cleared the uh, torpedo bay. Uh, and you can actually see that like like some of the Tyco technicians went and like, messed with the torpedo, uh, the torpedo uh, tubes. Um, so now they can actually rapid reload without without an issue. Um, so he's like, yeah, we like you know, we, we spent some time on it over here in the last few days. Uh, really easy fixes, but they were in and out. Uh, a little bit of firmware updates, stuff like that, no problem. We need any more, uh, I don't know, firearms, uh, armor from uh, yeah. maybe Tedwin and security, eh, XO? Um, That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to go that far with this. Uh, uh, f- free torpedo? <laughs> and that would be great. Yeah. I think, you know, I think we're as good as we're going to get from... We and you guys, are actually, you guys are actually full on torpedoes, actually. You guys got reloaded by DAWs, yeah. so you're good. Yeah, we just yes. don't have the, the big ones. Yeah, you don't have the big ones. Yeah. Time to get to get uh, get on the go. Can't be in one uh, station too long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the the whole element is, like, you know, uh, Myrtle comes back and gets on the ship. You guys are all ready to go. We're going to head back to Ceres. You know, she's like, oh, let's go back to Ceres station. Um, she kind of, you know, she kind of tells you a little bit about like, what's been happening, what she's talking just about with, and she kind of tells you, you know, I'll just give you the quick rundown. You guys have heard buzz about this on the station, but it seems like the OPA factions are kind of unifying, um, and they're trying to integrate everyone appropriately. Um, they're having, Golden Bow is not welcome. They're just criminals. They're, they just use the OPAs as like an excuse to do their shit. They would be doing their shit even if the OPA didn't exist. Um, the major faction they're worried about is Inaros. Um Black Sun and Voltaire Collective want more privileges, and but the whole attitude is like they're slowly um, integrating them. Essentially, like they're like we're gonna let you guys in, but you guys gotta prove it. And you know, you guys are kind of on a probationary status, and it seems like they want in on this whole idea. Um, and what's interesting is that the only reason this is all happening, according to the intelligence that like that like Myrtle's pri- privy to, uh, is that the Martians and the UN are harassing them right now. That's it. 
like they can actually coordinate and get organized while those two are pointing their guns at each other over Jupiter. And there's been some rumors of some firefights over there and like, like some like space battle shit going on. I'm not really sure. It's really unclear what's going on out there. Um, but uh, the one the one rogue element is in our faction. Uh, they seem to play dark. They're hard to contact. They only come out when like they want to. Uh, and they don't seem they seem to think that even having someone like Fred Johnson involved is just no 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 inner should be involved with whatever the OPA is on any in any way, shape, or form. Um and that's kind of what it is, is they've now put this hard I don't I don't want to say I don't know if I want to say racist line, but it's it's a hard line uh, in the in the sand as it would be um saying like we need to stop trying to be like that crap right so it's 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 that kind of element that's that's the one restriction but the thing is that that only represents maybe like three four percent of the opa it's such a small percentage mm -hmm. but they're damn good pilots that's actually the one thing about nars faction they have some of the best pilots out there donna oh sorry no, myrtle sorry not donna Myrtle also presents some other information. Uh, she shows up, she comes up, and she puts on this like little, like quick piece of video, and it's like some footage of uh, Tycho Station, or not Tycho, of, of Tycho Station, where some ships are coming through, uh, and there's definitely footage of like Jackrabbit, uh, and it looks like Jackrabbit's alive off Tycho, and the suspicion is that they they may be involved with this new OPA movement somewhere. Not really sure what, not sure what the position is, but it looks like they might be involved with like whatever Dawes and, and Johnson's cooking up. They're somehow they're somehow going to be a part of that. It's not like on their level, but integrated into the. They need a lot of people, a lot of hands. So hmm. Myrtle says that's kind of a, it. Seems good. Like it seems like a good. Like they're not out there trying to fight a ground war against the Martians or something. Trying to go, go legit with it. Okay. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Myrtle's busy. Uh, whether they like <laughs> it or not, they're busy. Um, so you guys get on the ship. It's gonna mount up for series station. The undocking procedure goes well. Uh, Drax is like talking about kind of like what the all these Tycho Tech guys are super good at what they do. Couldn't believe how fast they knew. They knew exactly what they needed to do at all points. Uh, some of them kind of complained about the lack of like records on the ship. They were kind of like, why is there, why is there, it would just be a, this would be a lot easier to diagnose than the records for like the last few months, like the last year. And they're like, what? The yeah. All gone. Yeah, yeah. built a um, shrug. <laughs> guys start flying back to series station at a steady rate, third of a G. Um, you get like a few, about a little over uh almost to the flip and burn part um you guys are kind of hanging on the ship taking it pretty easy uh you know people are trading off pilot duty whatever and most are just kind of watching the thing go um let me roll to see who's got the ship all right cool zanny you have the shift right mm. it's, it's your shift. so you're on the shift and um you're kind of up in the up in the operations deck you know you have uh everyone's like myrtle's here sleeping wyatt's like hanging out whoever's just doing whatever there's all these ships on it yeah but it's kind of an illusion on it and um the guys are probably a few hours out from the flip and burn where we just wake up and get crash couches but but um you see a um you 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 get a ding there uh coming up from the from down in engineering uh from drax and he's like hey uh uh zenny um Something's going on down here. What do you I, mean? I, I don't know. He's like the, the computer's throwing these weird errors and corrections, but I don't. What the hell this means? This is like way, like way beyond me. Let me see. That's pretty good. He's like, he says, I, I think it's like. This doesn't make any sense. This should, this, this can't happen. Something about like. There's some sort of issue with like the drive, or I can't, I can't make heads or tails of this. It, it keeps on changing constantly. He's like, get a, like, can you go wake the captain of the XO up? Like, you gotta, you gotta figure out what the hell this is. 
I'm 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 already moving. I'm waking the, all of them. I'm waking uh, Captain up. I'm waking Wyatt up. I'm waking Waxer up. You come down to the <laughs> operations. You, you kind of you know you actually put the alert on. You can actually like, hit the alert button and put the alert on. It's not like a yeah. red alert like a battle station thing, but it, it's yeah. alert. And like it comes up and people just wake up. They kind of you know come out of their cabins and everything back yeah. too, and they're like looking around and they're like what the hell is going on, Zenny? And uh, everyone's like that. Wyatt, you're like you know you know, alerted to something going on. Yeah, come yeah. out my boxers with my pistol in my hand <laughs> and my fuzzy slippers. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, I would, I would do, I would, I would on the comms to these two at the very least. Uh, say uh, something's up with the drive, and I'm gonna just go there. I'm not gonna explain it. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna say that and head down there. <laughs> So uh, Myrtle, Myrtle like and Myrtle goes up to Ops and says like let me know what you need to do, mm-hmm. and um, so uh, Waxer and Wyatt, uh, the senior crew, you guys go on down down there. We have our uh, our, our head our head uh, deck hand. We have our XO going down there, and you see you kind of see Drax down there, and you can see that um, like Michaels is down there, woken up. He got out of the bunk that was in the machine shop area, and he like looked at like like they're like hitting stuff and trying to figure out what the hell's going on. He's like. He's like they're standing like this, like, and you can see alerts are going off and shit. Like, but then like they kind of go off and they stop. Do you have any idea what is going on here? Well, I'm trying to figure it out here. It, this is way this? over my head. He's like looking at it. He's like, well, based on this, this is telling me that the reactor's not working. I'm looking at it and it's working. And we keep on getting these like false flags thrown at it back and forth, and then it looks like the the, the whatever the AI you guys have on this thing is like trying to compensate for it, and able to compensate for it, but then it throws a new error. I, I don't know what the hell is going on in there. And he's like looking at the reactor and everything like that too. He's like, Does the reactor seems safe right now. Or does I don't like know. It's just like that's the problem. It sometimes it tells me it's safe, then it tells me it's not. It's it's fluctuating back and forth. I my honest opinion right now is I, he shut the damn thing down. What did they do on that state? What did they right? And Drax is like, Drax is like, yeah, like what? And like McMichael's like, man, you let some, you let some Arthur Coyos come in here and play with our stuff, dude. You can't be doing that. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna <laughs> holler up at Myrtle and see if uh, I think we should shut the the ship down for a little bit until we can figure out. She gives you the go ahead. Going. She's like, yeah. She's like, no problem. Yeah. And she like sets, makes sure the course and checks and all. And she's like, yeah, you can shut it off. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll tell them to shut it off. Okay. So they go. All right. We'll go. All right. Shut down procedure. They start going through it and putting stuff in, and they're like, "It's not taking it. It's not taking the shutdown." Holy sh! He's like, he's like, look at. It. He's like, he goes and put the shut. He's like, put the shutdown order in, and according to this, it's it should be going critical. Why isn't it? We should all just be a ball of gas right now. What the hell? He's and he's like, you can you can see like on the on the reactor the different like aftermarket parts that have been added to it. Mm-hmm. Like it's like. They're like humming and like look like they're working. They're like they're constantly like somewhere coming on and off and like like they're like your your best guess why is like it seems like they're trying to compensate for something very rapidly well outside their like what they should be. I really don't know what we need to do. Put a SOS out. Yeah. <laughs> he's like we'll be gone by then. We'll be a ball ass. He's like look. Uh, Rax is like he looks to Zenny and he looks to like. Uh, why and expect a Zenny and he's like, I think we've got to drop the core. <gasps> There's gonna be floating out here then. Better than, better than being a pile of melted. stardust. Yeah, yes. otherwise we're gonna like, melt. Did you hear that, Cap? Myrtle's like, that? yeah. What, what do you want to do? <laughs> She's like, if, if, you're, if your engineer's telling you to drop the core, drop the core. <laughs> and she puts in like, she puts in her command and she, and she goes, like, only only you, you the two of you have to put in the command to drop the core if you want to. She put, so Myrtle's like willing to drop the core. I'm willing to drop it too if you think this is the right move. It's just like I don't think there's much other another move here. I'm not about to risk having like she's not going to risk having the core go on the, and everyone die. There's no survival. There's like but Drax, what's the, what's Drax, Drax, what's, the, what's the odds that we're going to survive without the core? Well, yes. the, batteries, the batteries will last on, on the ship for like three months. We'll be fine. Air's full to work. We'll get an SOS out. No problem. Someone will come pick us up. But like we're not going to survive if that core goes critical here. Let's drop it. Drop I'm right. putting you guys at risk. All right, so you go up to the you go up to the thing, you put the command in, and the core goes to like like drop. It basically it like goes into a system where like it's gonna like push it out the back of the ship, just drop it off the ship. Basically, it's like a series of explosive bolts. 
and you see it going dunk, 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 dunk. The core should leave the ship. It should just like kind of float out the space, and you guys, you guys keep on moving where the where the core just kind of stays there, right? It's not leaving the ship, and like like uh, McMichael's goes looks at it, and he's like, "Why isn't it falling off the ship?" Is it stuck? And, did something? Did something not? Did Brax, something not go? Brax is like looking at it, and he's like, "It's all these goddamn aftermarket parts." He's like, "How do we break this stuff?" And he like gets a <laughs> wrench. And he's like, he's like, starts going hit and shit. Like he's trying to like break <laughs> off the pieces. Like, do you guys want to help him? I mean, is this I'm something where, I, yeah, I could get like a power suit on or like, you know, uh, you don't have the time. You, you don't know if you have the time to do that. It might be you better. Got big. You got your big boy muscles well, though. I mean, you could yeah. a, like you could grab a wrench or like a tool and start just smashing. Yeah, I guess I'll just grab, okay. um, I'll yeah. grab a tool I'm gonna do the well. same. All right, you get some pry bars. Yeah. Okay, everyone make a strength might check. Well, I do I mice. know, so before I do that, do I know um, if the error logs are kept, like if the if anything like this, if we were able to go back and like look at the logs afterwards, or is that something we would have to save like now? And the error log will be part of the ship. It'll, it'll, it'll stick with the ship. The ship will stick with the ship. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it would take you, a, it's a lot of to look through. Yeah. Especially if it's throwing this many error checks, like like the logs would be like extra, like, huge compared to like what it usually is. Uh, yeah, you, that's fine. I yeah. mean, we'll know which yeah, part you, of yeah. the log it's supposed to be because it's full of error logs. Yeah, yeah. It's look in the middle. Of, look at the end of the errors. That's when it stopped. All right. Yeah. Um, give me a mic check. Would you get a uh, waxer? I got uh, let's see, thirteen. I got three threes. Thirteen total. Okay. Do you want to push that higher? Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, make... do it, muscle man. Okay. Push that uh, drama die to a six. I right? spent twelve okay. fortune. Yeah, I'll spend the twelve right. fortune. Let's right. do it. So we you go it. open. You you smash one of these parts off. Sparks are flying in here. You guys can see there's like some like dust, like um, clouds of like a smoke and shit happening, um, as like the uh, you know the, the part comes off. Uh, what'd you get, Wyatt? Uh, fifteen with double fives. Double fives, not a problem. Yeah, you go up and you smash good. Uh, you you break off some more parts and you can see uh, McMichael's there just kind of breaking this thing and he's like you can then see like where um, Brax has like a pry bar just trying to push the part out and all that stuff into the thing. He's like. Oh, and like they're like freaking out. Zenny, what do you, uh, you look at the computer and you're like realizing, yeah, it will keep up. Like you're looking through the lock. It's so much data pulling off of this thing right now. Okay. Um, give me one more. Give me another test, guys. See if you can get this thing dislodged. Right. Michael goes. All right, Michael's there. Oh yeah, good. there we go. I got the same thing. Fifteen nice. again. I got sixteen five on the drama. Not a problem. Okay. Also, if I see that the computer's doing its thing, I'll go over and help Drax pop that, whatever that was off. Yeah, you guys are like, pull the pry bar, and you can see where they've smashed off these parts and everything, like, undone some, like, bolts and all this crap bent. It's all bent as shit. This thing does not look like it's, like, safe at all now. Uh, but you're not, you're not breaking through their head of radiation leak or anything like that, too. And, yeah, you guys managed to, like, push out into, like, the containment. It pops. You hear, you hear it slam shut. You can hear a little hiss as, like, the vacuum briefly there. And it, you can, like, the thing's kind of behind you. Um, Myrtle starts chicken in the tea kettles, uh, to try to like maneuver the ship a little bit better so it'll it'll hold. And like you guys are watching the numbers and watching the outside cameras, and you eventually see this thing like hit, see it blast. I need everyone here to make a uh, let's go with um, your choice of acrobatics or free fall, dexterity, oh, acrobatics, or free fall. Free fall, free fall, make it free fall. Yeah, yeah all builders have free fall. No, so, they're not belter. <laughs> Yeah. Well, not too bad. is like the night vision of the expanse. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14. Okay. I'm going to need to push mine, but I got 16. 11. 16. 16 double fives. All right, so then you manage with like the shift in gravity from, from Merle <laughs> kind of spinning the ship along with the blast that hits the ship from where the, you can see the um, the core goes critical and it turns into this huge ball of gas coming out your way. Uh, what'd you get, Waxar? Uh, I got 11. 11. You get slammed in the side of the ship and you take um, a whopping uh, 9 damage. Okay. As you get slammed. And so does McMichaels and Drax. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um, Myrtle's like, sorry, sorry. And trying to get the ship back on thing. <laughs> but you guys can feel that the ship is, like, she's trying to stabilize the ship. You can hear, like, the, thr the thrusters kicking it back and forth. Uh, and she's like, what the hell happened down there? It went boom. It took forever to get out. It was locked in there pretty good. We got it out, but core is gone. It's like, uh, okay. So Myrtle's like freaking out, trying to like figure out a solution. She's like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start SOSing out here. 
She's like, what the hell are we even near? She looks out, she goes, Hygieia? I guess Hygieia it is. Uh, we don't have enough thrust to get out there and the, the tea kettle out there, but we can certainly, uh, I don't think get too much farther from it. All right, well, I guess we hold on and stay on. Drax is like, look, he's like, look, Drax is like, look, we're only like a few days out. We're, we got water, we got food, we got power. We'll be okay. We got three months at least in here. Hell, he's like, we got enough food to last us like almost like a year. I'm not, mm -hmm. Drax is like, I'm not worried about it. He's like, I, I, we could, this could be a lot worse. This could have been a lot worse. I just there's, wondered what happened. I also, there's a lot going on in space right now, and I don't want the wrong people picking us up. Yeah, that's true. A ship that's like this. what I'm worried about. Big Michael. Torpedoes. If Michael comes in with the wisdom, as he always does, he goes, maybe those people wanted us dead already. Eh? Huh? Maybe they think, <laughs> maybe they see that boom and they think we're already dead. Now we just space debris. That's Shooting true. on that's a West message. You guys do that? I thought that's what the captain did. Michael's like, she, I don't talk to her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, she's like, yeah, she don't talk to me no more, man. She told me I had to take up an XO. <laughs> okay. He's like, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that might be a problem. Is she yes. tight, she got a tight beam out there? She got a tight beam. Only some people want to pick us up because that's good. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. We sit and duck. I mean, we got torpedoes to send out, but that's it. We got PDCs and got we got torpedoes, but we sit and duck, and we can't dodge nothing. I'm gonna go uh, get my rifle. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the order in for everybody to stay armed, just in case we get boarded. Yeah. But, but, I mean, the, the sensors still work. That's a thing. Like, it'll, you'll know if someone's gonna board you for like for hours, essentially ahead of time. Yeah. Sensors still work, but if you guys go past it with the sensors, Martian girl, tech. Myrtle, Myrtle's gonna kind of like keep the ship like in kind of a dark mode. Um, hopefully, they'll think the things blew up, mm -hmm. and then and also take, keeping the sensors off, keeping the active sensors off will save the power, the battery power quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but she's like, all right, well, hopefully someone can get this and come back to us. Uh, oh, Jesus, she's talking about her wife and how her wife's gonna be mad. <laughs> um, she's gonna be pissed. Well, I think I'm be cheap. You guys got paid from Tycho, and make them, that paycheck might be going out the window, or, or might have gone on the back of the ship already. Yeah, core uh, mm -hmm. She goes, all right. She goes, well, why don't we make this easier on everybody before, they, before we get a rescue? And um, with Waxer and McMichaels, you guys are on uh, outside duty. Go check if there's any damage from where that thing got pushed out. It sounded like it. I could hear, you, and you guys could hear it when the thing came out of the ship. It was like grinding through the part. It should, it should have exploded mm -hmm. and go, boom, and just popped out immediately. Like mm -hmm. uh, very fast, it's almost, but it didn't. It like kind of grinded through the. Um, it's like the ball bearing just too big type thing. You got it, boss lad. Uh, hey, Koyos, you heard her. Let's get let's get going. Suit up. So you guys kind of suit up and and you guys get ready to kind of check out the damage of the ship. Um, spend the next like you know a few days just waiting for someone to come pick you up, whatever it may be. Uh, organizing that, making sure they can get paid. All that kind of stuff. Drifting in space, someone went wrong. Some people are saying stuff. Other people are saying whatever. Drax, like, like McMichael, seems to kind of seems to be mad at Drax again. He's like, "Why'd you let those guys on the ship? It was them. It had to be them. This thing worked fine." And he's like, "No, it was. They just fixed the torpedo tubes and uploaded some firmware to it. That's all they did." And he's like swearing by it. Um, McMichael's kind of starts turning. He gets uh, he gets Jay. Oh, and Yuri. He gets Jay and Yuri both against McMichael. Probably against uh, Drax. Uh -huh. Oh, no. You got a 301 now from your auxiliary crew kind of going on there. There's a lot of tension on the crew. People are might start suffering from the base madness. <laughs> yes. But uh, <laughs> just drifting on out in the belt somewhere. And you guys in TKL, you guys can dodge stuff. If, if stuff's coming at you, you can at least dodge it. But yeah, you don't have the kind of thrust to get you to another station. It's going to be a long drift. It is going to be a long drift. <laughs> uh, of course. All right. I think we're going to pick up next time with that. Ah! On, on, on our little our little suspense thing here. No, um, the turn is so close to twenty too, which is not like like I I was like, huh, maybe this is the turn. No, it right. wasn't though. No, you're, you're, no, we're, we're getting turns. dumped, not the turn. Nope. <laughs> if, you, if you remember from two sessions ago, the turn hit thirty. This was turn thirty. All right. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh. Someone nice. so, someone lit the fuse. 
All right, see how that works? It's kind of like a long game, man. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. But uh, all right, cool. Well, uh, everyone, thank you for watching tonight. Uh, yeah. We'll be back next week. Um, we have the giveaway going still, everyone. Uh, and you can still, time, still time to donate to uh, Project Hope. We got one donation. It's super cool. Appreciate the five bucks to everyone. Um, yeah. Please, if you want to enter the giveaway, it is Data Core. Throw Data Core into the uh, chat tonight, and you will be entered. There is my one. We got... Guys, we only got one entry right now. So, like, if you want to, like, you have a good chance, or you got a 50-50 chance to be entered in the enter in, but that's okay. Yeah, don't don't make me enter, guys. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, but it's all right. It's all right. Uh, if if it goes to one person entered, that's what they get for coming in and yeah, participating. We appreciate exactly. it. Um, we're back next week on Wednesday night. We have uh, Goldie Chan uh, joining us. Goldie is like an like an influencer, branding specialist, uh, really cool person. Uh, Super player. cool hair. Super cool hair, well known for her hair. Uh, she's an absolute blast. She's been, she was actually just dying to play RPGs, and I was like, "Hey, we can play." So, all right, cool, let's do it. Nice. And um, I just, I just, she hasn't played for a few years, actually. I think. Heck yeah! Like years, so she's let's all, go. She's, she's got some great article about Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> leaders out there. Save us! Yeah, yeah, save us, please. We're floating. We are floating. Talk of floating. Yeah, um, we're talking of floating. Uh, but we're gonna be playing next week uh, for another charity called. Uh, World Central Kitchen, which helps provide meals for uh, crisis areas. Uh, and right now they're doing, they're setting up right now in uh, for Ukrainian refugees uh, on that front. So um, they need they need some support to get that infrastructure. And once again, that's the big issue, people. It's not a matter of like get, having the support; it's a matter of getting the support to people and like getting the infrastructure set up. So, but all these all these great charities are, are fantastic because they're already set up for tons and tons of places. And you have a new mission. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the. Uh, the name and oh, it, yeah. Yeah, 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 someone's gonna win. Oh, yeah, who could it be? Surprise! It's Commando it's Solo. Commando. Commando Solo. Uh, <laughs> they wanted good, the patch. They our wanted. good friend, you're gonna get one of the cool little patches. You're gonna get the yeah. uh, the data quarter. Uh, the, one of the data quarters from uh, with Bill's. Gotta get that floppy part. drive reader now, though. Yeah, get yeah. the floppy drive reader. Hey, they ain't bad. That's 25 bucks. Hey, that. that's gonna open up a whole new world, then. You know. Yeah. It's uh, I, I'm actually excited. Uh, I, I actually buy it. I've been buying more and more music on floppy disk. It sounds horrible, but it's great. I just like that's such a niche thing. I have now like all of them. Uh, yeah. I think the dungeon synth. A lot of his dungeon synth is black metal, and I I have I will say this. Uh, I can show you guys something, but I'll, I'll do this exclusively on air. I haven't. I will say in May, because I released the the Abrax Precipice and I released the Throne of Iron, but I do have three more releases coming out. No, um, look at those! And uh, uh, I, have so throne of, I have another Throne of Iron. I have is a. Is that for he Frog Hemoth? It is Frog Hemoth by Loot the Body. Oh, nice. Great song. You haven't heard it. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And right. I have. Uh, yeah, you might have heard of them. And I have <laughs> uh, Bog Wizards, the third one. So we have three of those coming out, uh, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get all three of those. Yeah, I'll, I'll get more information about those when we're once I actually I, I just have the, the labels done. I haven't done I have to do all the other stuff. Actually, they haven't been formatted yet, so. Um, but yeah, I'll get your information from you, Commando. But we have we have another great show next week. Uh, Donna will be back, so we'll have Myrtle. We'll have the full crew. He's gonna come back and be like, "What the fuck did you do to my ship?" Yeah, <laughs> uh, we lost. <laughs> we should, we uh, ditched the core. <laughs> where's the uh, hey? Thanks, thanks for the, hey, no problem. You can borrow my car anytime. Uh, yeah. Where's, where's, the where's, where's the engine? Yeah. Where where? <laughs> Where's the engine? Oh man! So we, 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 we took a bunch of pry bars and knocked it out. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the hell and back and all the stuff too. So, um, but all right, guys. Well, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>